Rangers give first starts of the season to Essen, Midak and Ewens with Jenna Fife, Colson and Chelsea Cornet dropping out of the side. Partick Thistle change three from their win against Montrose. Megan Cunningham and Ferguson can't play against their parent club. And is Ava Easton, the goalkeeper on loan from Glasgow City. Taylor makes her first start and Longkate replaces Rob. Ewens ahead. Doherty. Rolls it back out for Mia McCauley. Kirsty McLean stands strong. Howitt looking to get there. First time strike. And it nestles into the net. Eva Easton looked uncomfortable as she dived. And Rangers take an early lead. It's a great pass by McLean and Kirsty Howitt. And Kirsty Howitt takes a shot on early, which I don't know if Easton is not expecting it, but she seems to kind of lose her footing almost, and it floats in under her, I think. She'll be disappointed that she's lost that goal, particularly from that angle, but Kirsty Howitt won't be caring. Brought down by McCleary. Lachlan looking to get in behind. Clipped up, Easton pushes it away, and Hardy strikes. And it's high and wide. That was an important touch from Ava Easton. It's great play, driving into the box, really, really positive by McLaughlin. Great clipped cross in towards the back post, and Easton does so well to get a hand on it, and then it falls to Hardy, who some control with her heel, and then you expect her to hit the net with it, but fires over. McCleary. Can she catch Hartick Thistle out? Now it's on her left. She takes, charged down, mid -act. Kirsty McLean, this will have a player hurt. McLaughlin, aims for the byline, the cross again, and header over the bar. It's a great cross, and I actually think McLean's coming down the way when she meets it, and that's why she can't get the connection on it. And it goes over the bar, I think she'll be so frustrated with herself, we'll be seeing that when she kicks the post. But it probably really should have been a goal, it should be 2 0. McLaughlin, that looks well weighted for McLean. Kept in. Four in the box. McCauley will cross towards Hardy. And then McCleary. And this will get it clear. A strong stop from Ava Easton. And the second line of defence there to get it away. Rio Hardy just didn't know where the ball was. She couldn't get it out of her feet. Taylor with the strike. It's taken by Essen comfortably. This was really quite disappointing in the end. She didn't really get any purchase behind it. Midak aiming for help. But he's there. Comfortably taken by Easton. That's an important save. It is, and it's a floating ball in, and she gets her head on it. It's just probably not enough pace in the cross for it to generate any power in the header. Hardy. Good work. Berry slips. Hardy searches out Kirsty Howitt who touches, and great defending, somehow Emma Lawton clearing on the goal line. It was a great ball in, first time pass in by Hardy there to, to Howitt, and she can't get it down. And you think Lawton's done enough to clear the ball, and then it falls again to Kirsty Howitt, and somehow she's in the right place. Really, really good stop one line. Clipped up. Drops for help. Now McCleary and pushed away onto the top of the net. The home side pushing and pushing now. And this is exactly what Partick Thistle don't want, is this period of pressure for them. They need to try and defensively stay strong, but what a header it is. And for Hill with the header off the crossbar and the whistle blown for the foul on Cara Henderson. Yeah, it's a great delivery. It's obviously a foul in the box. Catherine Hill rises highest and heads it off the crossbar, but Partick Thistle just need to regain their composure here. Taylor for Rob. Lifts it towards Cara Henderson. Just can't get there. She gives it everything, doesn't she? Throws herself at it to try and get anything on the end of it. But Nicola Doherty actually does defend well. I thought we made hard work of it. Um, I don't think we moved the ball well enough, particularly in the first half. I thought we had a few moments where we looked convincing on the ball, but overall I thought we were not as sharp as we should have been. But they were really organised and I thought we, we played into their hands a little bit with that. We kind of spooked them a little bit. You could see the last 10 minutes they were getting really nervy and 
but it's again you're so close without actually getting the point against one of the top three sides and we've just got to keep building on it because the confidence in the, in the group is really high we've started the season particularly well and we've got to build on it but as the season comes we need to start taking points off the top three